come to transition pictures for Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She died uh, in 2020 of pancreatic cancer uh, after several bouts of illness and uh, she was a legend. Basically she was on the Supreme Court from 1993 to 2020 and over that time had become this iconic legal figure for her stand on women's rights and equality and fairness and so on. She was the first Jewish woman to sit on the US Supreme Court and was so adorned in her time by accolades and honours and degrees and anything anybody could give her to say you are a shining light of what America should be. She could have retired many years ago. Many people wanted her to. Do this now before the election. This is the 2016 election. Do this now and then Obama will get to pick her replacement. But she didn't. She kept on working. She was a workhorse and she died at the age of 87. Now these pictures are extraordinary. Not only extraordinary but they're completely different to anything I would have expected about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. When I went into the energy she was dancing, like a ballet dancer actually, pirouetting, twirling. It was elegant, it was gleeful, there was pure joy here. Yes, she may have wanted to go back to work. But spiritually, she was ready for her life to end. And when it did end and she was released from her body and the sickness and the weariness and all the burdens that can come with old age, once she was free of those restrictions, that straitjacket of mortality, she did a celebration dance. But when she was done, I mean, you can't be breathless in this situation. It's a metaphorical cave uh, that doesn't really exist. But she sat down on a rock breathless and surveyed very soberly her environment. Wow, I enjoyed that. Oh, it's so good to be free. She got up. She walked across this space that I always see. And immediately she just floated, effortless. I don't see how somebody that proficient within their work, somebody that lauded and applauded, somebody with that much accomplishment in their wake cannot be weighed down with ego considerations. Somebody who has lived that long has no regrets, no guilt. There may be issues, but there was no weight, there was no ballast here to stop her floating. She just drifted dreamily along the tunnel. And it felt to me that the tunnel, from top to bottom, was pulsating with feelings of joy, of love, of appreciation, whatever this was, it felt like she was being ushered through lines and lines of applause. There's nobody there, but it felt that way. Like a parade float, when people wave from the float and everybody cheers and waves back. This felt like a celebration. At the top of the tunnel was the dome thing that I always see in this kind of metaphorical cave. But I could barely see the dome. There were multicolored ribbons of light, really thick ribbons of light dashing backwards and forwards. It looked like something out of a 60s 
variety show, like Rowan and Martin as Laughing or Carol Burnett or something. Remember how they had those vivid colours, flags, polythene, you know, whatever. It was just like constant movement of colour. And Ruth Bader Ginsburg went in to the colours. It was almost like when you get anaesthetised, maybe at the dentist, and a procedure is done and you don't feel it. In fact, it's over before you know it. It was like that. The colours with a welcome mat and they melded with the dome in such a way that once she had been wrapped in all these brilliantly iridescent flags of light there was no need to cross into the dome. There were no choices to make. There was no effort involved. It all became one. It's almost as if she while she was dancing at the start, let all her ego concerns go and embraced whatever came. I know she was Jewish, but I don't know if she had a strong religious base. But it's almost as if everything began with the dance and everything after the dance was the icing on the cake. No resistance, just surrender. Just joy. It was exhilarating. And she rolled into these flags, just let them wrap around her, floated on, and just went, and I couldn't see any more. She was gone. She represented something good. And it could be karmic insofar as if you represent something bad, low consciousness, something that's on the path of lesser intention, you have more of a scramble to get to the end. There's more resistance to you getting to the end. Whereas if you're on the path of higher intention and you're doing good and you're working for the best in humankind, when you reach the checkered flag, it's in rainbow colours. We can only aspire to ending our conscious life like that. It's fabulous. And that's Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Subscribe, like, share if you want. That'd be great. Follow me on Twitter at Cash Peters. That'd be good too. Otherwise, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.